Hi, my name is Amy Remsing, and I'm the Porsche Beaverton Service Manager. With me is Raf. He's our Parts Manager and our Project Director for the 2022 Porsche Classic Restoration Challenge. This year, our team chose a 2003 911 Targa uh, with cosmetic and performance enhancements. Raf's going to talk a little bit about why we chose this vehicle and what enhancements we made throughout the process. Thank you, Amy. Uh, so the reason we chose the 996 is because of its racing heritage. Uh, it performed well on track, but it also looked great on track. Uh, the other thing is that when you get in our early 90s cars, you have that nostalgic feeling and you can get that from the Targa. So with that, let me walk you through the car and show you some of its features and the things that we've modified uh, throughout the process. Uh, the original color of the car was a, a seal gray metallic, uh, but we wanted something a little bit different uh, than just your traditional Porsche color that comes in this generation. We went with a tobacco brown metallic. It gives it a better look, uh, a little more of a classic look is what we were trying to go for, and I think we have achieved that. Uh, some of the pieces that we've changed throughout, the front bumper is a GT3 bumper, uh, same with the wing, the side skirts as well. For performance, we went with a sports exhaust system uh, that is specially developed by Porsche to increase power. It makes it more powerful and it gives it a more profound sound. Other pieces that we that we have modified in the vehicle uh, is going to be suspension. Uh, the suspension is now a GT3 suspension. Uh, we, we went ahead and did uh, everything from control arms, upper control arms, the knuckles, uh, even the brakes. We went with a big brake kit, uh, which is just off a GT3. And some of the pieces that we've also modified, uh, we've kept everything factory, but some of the cool parts about the car is the headlights have now been smoked, the taillights have been smoked. Uh, we actually started with uh, clear sided markers, uh, but we just wanted to keep that smoked look, so we went ahead and smoked everything out. Um, and it actually turned out really well. Color Wheels did an amazing job. Uh, they were the guys that we used for the paint. Uh, they also went ahead and uh, took apart the wheels and painted the faces um, with that. As we move into the interior, as you can see, there's also interior pieces that are painted uh, tobacco brown, and that's gonna be the door handles that you see here. Same with the e-brake handle uh, that's been painted, and then the, the shift knob has also been color matched to the vehicle. Other pieces of the car that are also GT3, that's gonna be the steering wheel. That's an Alcantara steering wheel from a GT3, and same with the shift boot. Uh, the rest of the car has been uh, wrapped by Beaverton upholstery and it's been wrapped uh, in Alcantara as well. We have the door panels, the back inserts, and the dashboard. While at the upholstery shop, we went ahead and also had the seats re-wrapped. Uh, we decided to change the color of the seats since we changed the color of the car. Um, so with that, we went with a cognac uh, color and then we decided to do a nice pattern uh, in the center of the seats. Well, there was options to do a, a rear seat delete we thought that it'd be a good idea to continue the leather color into the back and actually left the seats in place. Um, so you can actually have passengers to the back of the car. And while having passengers in the car, you also want to entertain your passengers. So we thought we went ahead and upgraded our old entertainment system to the new PCCM Plus. Uh, this new system gives you navigation Apple CarPlay and it's something that you can get at any local Porsche dealership. Uh, thank you for following along. Uh, with our 2022 Porsche uh, project that we had this year. Uh, Amy and I would like to thank uh, everybody uh, and also Porsche Beaverton would like to thank everybody that's helped us throughout the process. Um, that's with cars and coffees that we've done throughout the year. Uh, we also had color wheels involved with it and Beaverton upholstery, so we'd like to thank everybody. But we also like to throw the question out there is, what do you guys want to see for 2023? Uh, so please let us know and uh, hopefully we can kill it just like we did with this one. Thank you.